Hey guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and this is a review of the 2014 movie Ninja Turtles Donatello figure from Playmates Toys. Moving right along with our look at the new movie Turtles, let's check out the brains of the operation. As you can see, Donatello comes on that brand new movie style Ninja Turtles blister card packaging, featuring the bright, vibrant green colors in the background and that new movie Ninja Turtles logo emblazoned across the top. And then running alongside the left hand side of the box are images of the turtles from the movie, with Donatello's image being featured on the lower left corner of the blister bubble, making each of these card backs slightly different for the four turtles. And then flipping that over to the back side, we get a description of the new movie that's coming out, and below that, a selection of the different Ninja Turtles figures currently being offered. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at Donatello outside of the packaging. Now, this is another figure that I feel translated very well into action figure form. Uh, love it or hate the new designs, they do still make some really good action figures, but one thing I'm going to really point out with Donatello is he does still have quite that roundish turtle look to his head sculpt. So let's go ahead and start there. You can definitely see he's got that rounder turtle shaped nose coming out the front there, so it doesn't look quite as humanoid looking as the movie seems to depict them. He's also wearing the more classic style purple bandana going right across his eyes there. And you can see that the ties from that are really long and kind of hanging down. He's got one that hangs down the front of his chest, while the other one's kind of flowing off to the side there. But it's a nice deep purple, and it's got those whited out eyes shining right out from behind it. And I really love the all white eyes on these. It just definitely makes these new toys feel more classic. Now one of the new things with the head sculpt there is you'll notice that he does have some little binocular type device sitting on top of his head, painted black, and he's even got a little communication microphone kind of coming down in front of his mouth on the left hand side of his head. Now on the right side of his head it looks like there's a piece of the binocular sticking down from underneath his bandana and going down the side of his head that was left unpainted on this particular figure. But it's still kind of cool seeing some of that headgear sitting on top of his head, part of the head sculpt there because Donatello is kind of, you know, the machines guy and it's neat that he comes equipped with that. One thing I'm going to go ahead and say real quick, I'm glad that this toy doesn't have the glasses. One of the things I haven't really been too keen on with the new movie design is the fact that Donatello is wearing glasses with tape between the lenses. I think it just looks silly, so I'm really glad to see that that's not on this toy. So looking down below that, you're going to notice that Donatello is a much skinnier build than the other figures. Uh, Raphael is the biggest of them all beefed up, but Leonardo and Mikey still have some muscle. Donatello is definitely much more lean here. That actually kind of ties in with the most recent Nick Turtles because Donatello was kind of the taller, skinnier one of the bunch. So I kind of like that there's a difference between the four turtles. You'll also notice that he is wearing a lot of gear. He's got some kind of black straps hanging down on the front of him there. And he's also wearing like a black loincloth piece. And you'll even notice that looking on the belt there, he's got a lot of little pouches and everything. So he's definitely got a lot of places to store stuff. He's wearing just kind of the typical brown uh, pads on his elbows and his knees, and he's another one that's wearing full booties, so his feet are completely covered with black booties there. And then on the back side of his shell, he's wearing some sort of device. It's like a vacuum cleaner or a proton pack. <laughs> I don't know exactly what it is, but uh, maybe we'll find out when the movie actually comes out. It's part of the sculpt, so it's not removable but the little hose part on there is flexible, so you can actually kind of bend that around a little bit. Alright, so let's go ahead and look at the articulation on this guy. The head can turn left and right, but since he also still has a little bit of that hunched over look, he just kind of does that cocking his head to the left and right thing. He's got ball joints at the arm, so they can go upwards, forwards, and backwards. He's got swivels at the elbow, as well as an elbow bend. Again, no wrist joints. Uh, no waist swivel or anything like that, but he's got the hinge joints at the legs, so the legs can go all the way outwards, move forwards and backwards, swivels at the knee, and a standard knee bend, but nothing at the ankles. So he's featured uh, the same type of articulation that we've seen with all of the other movie turtles so far. Uh, the lack of an ankle and a wrist joint are definitely the biggest downfalls here. As far as accessories go, Donatello comes with his signature bow staff, but it's a little different looking on this guy. Uh, for some reason, it looks like a metal pipe, and I don't know if that's what he's going to be using in the new movie, but I'm not sure how I feel about that. It's definitely got a bit of a pipe feel to it. Uh, it's also molded in a solid kind of mustard yellow plastic, which is an interesting choice for it. And one of the big problems with Donatello not having wrist articulation 
is the fact that you can't get him in any really good two-handed poses. That's a real shame, because Donnie should definitely be able to hold his bow staff with two hands. He's also another turtle that doesn't have a place to store his weapon when not in use, so all you can really get him to do is kind of hold the weapon one-handed or get him holding it kind of out to his side, but you can't do any two-handed poses, and that's a real letdown. So Donatello stands right at about 5 inches tall, so he actually stands right about the same size as Raphael, he's just a little bit taller than Leonardo, but all four turtles do vary in size, with Mikey being a lot shorter than all the rest of them. Also Donatello's skin tone is a little bit lighter of a green than all the rest of them, so it actually kind of matches the most recent Nick Turtles version of Donatello. So with that being said, it's comparison time! Here's a look at the new movie Donatello, standing alongside the recent Nick Turtle versions of the character. And here he is alongside one of the past movie versions, movie star Donnie. And finally, since there have been so many versions of the character in the past, here he is standing alongside a whole bunch of different Donatellos from various Ninja Turtles toy lines. So there you go guys, there's a look at the brand new 2014 movie Donatello figure. He's a neat looking figure, he's another one that's got a great sculpt that I do feel like the movie style translated very well into action figure form. I kind of like the little tech stuff that was added to him and I'm interested to see how that's going to play out in the movie. But his articulation really hurts this particular figure. Since he can't get a really good pose with his bow staff, that's really going to limit your posing options and even playability for kids. So I think this is probably one of my least favorite of the four turtles so far. Not saying it's a bad figure, just saying it could have been a little bit better. The brand new 2014 Ninja Turtles movie figures are starting to hit store shelves right now. So happy hunting, my friends, and until next time.